Viola's basis number two is called Ghosts and it's about a technique called Soltasto. In the first one we were thinking about what happens when you go outside your normal comfort zone this way towards the bridge. Now we're going to look at what happens when you go the other way. Now the other way is a big, big space. Ponticello is a small space, this is a big one. Soltasto means on the fingerboard, which is this black thing here, which stretches from there to there. So anywhere you play on that is on the fingerboard. And what happens to the sound is that from the normal sound, we get into this very breathy sound. This much woollier sound. Again, we're looking for a very light bow, keeping the weight off the bow. Sometimes people use a term called flautando with this. Flautando means imitating the flute, and that's exactly what we're doing. And the thing about the flute sound is it has air in it, of course. And we have no air in our sound, but we have a bow, which is our breath. So what we're doing is actually putting bow noise into the sound. The string works less well, we start to hear this bow sound. So what we can do to get the hang of this and a kind of preparatory exercise is to do some bowing of the finger bow without any pitch at all. You stop all the strings. We can now hear with the noise the bow sounds. Which is there all the time. We normally don't hear it because there's a pitch getting in the way. But when you take the pitch away, you get this ghostly stuff. Which is why I thought it might be nice to do a piece about something ghostly. And I thought you could take it further because normally when we play in the middle strings we have no problem in soltasto. But when you try and play the outer string, then this happens. But I thought maybe this needn't be a problem. It could, it could even be a solution because the sound is good. And combined with this, we have two types of white noise. And this is kind of breathing, C noise. So in the piece, the whole piece happens across this part of the instrument, using this as a reference. So I start playing here, and then you come across the strings, and here. And because this is a piece we're not going to move around in, there's no big position changes, no vibrato, the hand can be very comfortable. So I suggest starting in fifth position, getting a thumb nice and high, holding the instrument like it was a piece of wood, because actually it is a piece of wood, and then just playing. And when the note comes in, you like doing a crossfade between pitch and unpitch. So you got unpitched and then going to the pitch. So the whole idea is to let your bow on go. This is a great exercise of the bow. There's no danger over the fingerboard. You can't go wrong. And the thing you do works. It's a question of keeping the weight off it and being very light and going right through like this. So I think that's the essentials of pun. Once you've heard this sound, that's the, the basis of the piece. So this is Soltasto and Ghosts.